Welcome everybody, my name is Sally and today we'll be looking at the Transformers Studio Series Rise of the Beast 100 Bumblebee. And here we have Bumblebee inside the package. You can see we got the name Transformers right here. We got a nice image of Bumblebee. Very really nice. Look at the side. Bumblebee right here, the Studio Series. Here's the 100. I'm glad. Uh, you know what this? Which, whatever this is. A lot of some cars and something. Anyway, we got the Bumblebee right here, and then we got the transformation, and then we got the the background, which is really nice. But then I gotta take it off. And then we have the Bumblebee, another image of Bumblebee, uh, the Transformers. Autobot symbol and yeah that's pretty much it in that case let's get let's get him out of the package starting out with the accessories he comes with this blaster he comes with this blaster and this unpainted um, blade which um I'm very disappointed that they didn't paint it well I had I had I guess I had to paint it myself Anyways, you can put it to Bumblebee right perfectly. You can put it whichever side you want. It really is in. Okay, so I guess this one should belong in this side. And this one for the other side because unfortunately this one it fits in the right side of his arm. So yeah, there's only one option for the blaster. So here we have Bumblebee out of the package. And I should say I really like that they brought the Camaro vehicle back. On the Transformers first movie, it's it's nice to see the Camaro back again. Uh, I really don't know how much to explain, but it brings back the memories. As a kid, how I how I watched the first movie, it was really um, impressive to see. Robots becoming vehicles. That was something really nice. And I'm glad we get to see Bobby and his Camaro back. So yeah. So basically we got um, Bumblebee's uh, boots again from the Bumblebee movie. We got a bit of like the design of the Bumblebee from the Trans Transformers 1 to 2007 it's a really nice design we got the top of the Camaro on the chest really nice also from Bumblebee's head uh, for, re for some reason uh, I don't want to mention this but I noticed that they actually put more silver on the on the face considering in the images he didn't have much paint on it so i'm glad they actually put some detail on it so it's really nice and also we got the we got the back right here this is um part of the camaro really nice and also we got this part of the of the doors that I'm surprised that they're not like paint painted over. They're from a separate piece between the the doors and the window. Um, I'm glad it's it's nice to see that. Really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Although I wish uh, they had they added like a bit of detail on the arm, you know, to make it more, to make it less cheaper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really nice design. We really like it. And now let's get for the articulation. For the articulation, he can rotate his head 360 degrees. Really nice. Rotate his arm. Really nice. Rotate his arm. What? Elbow joint. No rotators on the hand. That's kind of sad. Disappointing. But he has a rotation on his on his hips. Really nice. He has a nice kick that he can throw. Oh, nice rotation on the on the feet. He can go side to side, and that's pretty much it. For scale, he stands around five inches with two centimeters. For compare size, we have RC Bumblebee, which you can see they have very different designs. Optimus Prime. Really nice. Scourge Minions. And finally, we have Eraser. So for the transformation, you want to start with the, with the feet. You fold these, these parts of the, of from the bottom of his legs. Like that. Uh, you fold, you ro ro rotate the feet, put them inside, you fold this also, you fold it, put it back, and this part, just ignore it, I messed up, that's my fault, yep, that's definitely my fault, to do it, to do the same thing I did, yeah, I thought it was gonna be like the same as the other Bumblebee from from Transformers Studio Series uh, Bumblebee number one, and just like that. And then you fold fold this, press it good. Also, bring that not play right there. Before that. Uh, you do wanna open these. Really nice. You bend these also. And then you wanna open it really nice, just like that. You bring this from here. You press it really nice. But moving on. You put the doors, you connect the doors right from the sides really easily. Very nice, press it good. Fold these arms right there, rotate them. Really nice. You put the door, you put the wheels right, right there easily, and now you put the the arms right there, as you can see right here. You just put them right here in this little clip. And there we have the Bumblebee transformation of the Camaro. And as you say, it's it's a really nice. Like I said, it's really nice bringing, seeing the Camaro back. Uh, really nice design. We got, we got to see the, the black stripes. Um, so I'm glad I can see that again. And also, he has different wheels. They're like formal, like those truck, truck wheels. So yeah, we got this new thing. I don't know what they're called. Also, the back is different. So yeah, and also we can get, we can get, we can see his arms from the bottom. It's kind of obvious right there. 
but it doesn't really bother me so yeah for the bottom pretty much empty from there we can get we get to see Bumblebee's head right there that's pretty nice uh yeah so it dries really nice smoothly and yeah and that's it let's compare with the others for comparison size we have Optimus Prime, RC, the Henchman, Air Razor, and finally we have the Beetle from the Bumblebee. You can see right here they're really nice close together. You can see the difference right here. The Camaro and the Beetle. Really nice. Yes, it's nice to compare them. Overall, this is a really nice design. I really like well, the design, the details on it. It brings back the old Bumblebee from the first movie, like I said, like the fifth time, I think. Really nice. Good articulation and the transformation is pretty much easy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.